What's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. And one of the most commonly asked questions I get on a daily basis is, what should I buy for my first studio? Well stay tuned, I'm about to tell you right now. What's up everybody? Like I said, one of the most commonly asked questions I get is, what kind of equipment, what kind of computer, what kind of DAW, should I buy when I start my first studio? And the answer is, well, it really depends on you and what you're doing. So I'm gonna give you a few tips and an overview of what you should have or what you should get when purchasing a studio. Now, I'm not telling you about brands, I'm just telling you general items and equipment, all right? So first off, here we go. Start off, computer. You're gonna need a computer, whether desktop or laptop. Mac or PC, it's really up to you and your budget. I mean, you can either get pretty decent PC or pretty decent Mac and still do damage. DAW, was DAW? A digital audio workstation. Basically, that's gonna be a way of you editing your recordings or making your beats or mastering your mixes or whatever you're gonna do. You're gonna need a DAW of some kind and there's many out there. Pro Tools, Cubase, Logic, Acid Pro, FL Studio, Reason. So really, you're open to DAWs and no DAW is better than the next, it's just on each DAW has their different qualities and different things they got going for. You're gonna need an interface. Now, what is the interface? An interface is the way of transferring your analog signal into a digital signal for your DAW to recognize in order for you to edit. And also, it's a way of hearing your music back that you're listening to and also recording. So if you don't have an audio interface, you can't, you know, it's basically a sound card because the sound card inside your computer is not gonna cut it. So you need a audio interface. And here's mine back here. I hope you can see, I mean, I hope, yeah, there it is. And really, USB or Firewire, it doesn't matter. Whichever one's best for you. I'll get in more detail in later videos on the difference between different audio interfaces and, you know, all that. You're gonna need a microphone. Yes, a microphone. If you don't have a microphone, how are you gonna record your audio? That's the point. You need a microphone. So, depending on what type of music you're doing, what style you're going for, and your budget, it's gonna depend on what type of microphone you get for your studio. And like I said, in later videos, I'll get into more detail about that. Headphones, you're going to need headphones. Headphones, now, depending on what application you're doing, whether it's mixing or mastering, there are different type of headphones. There are these right here, which are closed back headphones because they have a closed back. And they also have open back headphones, we have an open back. Now, Depending on what you're doing, depends on what type of headphones you get. Now, if you're recording and stuff like that, you might want to get some good closed back. Open back headphones are more for mixing. So, you know, I suggest you just go with some closed back because, I mean, it's all around goodness regardless. But, you know, depending on what you're doing. But like I said, in later videos, I'll go. I'm just giving you a brief overview of what to get. Studio monitors. What are studio monitors? These bad boys right here, as you see. You need some of these. These are reference monitors. What are reference monitors? Well, basically, they're gonna give you that accurate response of what you're listening to, recording, and playing back. If you don't have a pair of these, you're not gonna hear your music accurately, so you cannot mix and master the correct way. So, cause them $20 pair of speakers you bought at um, Walmart with a sub is not gonna cut it. Them hi fi's in your garage that you just hooked up to some old cheapo amp, not gonna cut it. You're gonna need some good reference monitors in order to make good mixes. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the basics of what you need when recording. Aside from the correct cables, because you don't have the correct cables, you know, you're not gonna be able to hook everything up right. Now, that was just a brief little overview of what you should get. Computer, interface, microphone, headphones, studio monitors. That's what you need to have a basic setup. And that's just basic, as in, you know, to get started, pretty much. As you get more and more and more, you start buying you know, hardware and more software and rack mounts and this and that and all the bulls that you don't really need right now. But right now, that's just the basics if you're starting off in the home studio, you know. So, I hope that helped y'all. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will have more videos for y'all in the future. And like I said, in later videos coming up, I'm going to start breaking out each and every last one of them and give y'all different products and different reviews and just pretty much breaking down the difference between everything so y'all can have a better understanding on what to buy. So it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all next time.